from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough for this incredible opportunity. Oh, mama, me voy a marida. Oh, mama, me voy a marida. Oh, mama, me voy a marida. Figlia mia, cuta dare, mamma mia, pensici tu. This is the Independent Sicilian Heritage Festival. This is our ninth annual festival. And so we are having a great time. We've had a great turnout. We have a lot of food, very good entertainment, and it's been such an awesome time. Now, as you can see, the weather is gorgeous, despite what the weather forecast called for. So we're very, very fortunate, very, very happy. People are starting to come in in droves. Our parade was by far one of the best parades that we've ever had. Todd Calmy our chairman, did a great job over that, um, and we're very fortunate so far. The weather's holding out, the vendors are selling, y'all got to see some of the wood fire pizzas and saw the great food that we have, and what's unique is each food booth is represented by a nonprofit. In order to have a, a booth in this festival represent, selling food, you have to represent a nonprofit. So we have organizations, everything from our local Catholic schools to the Hammond Farmers Market to TART. So literally every penny being spent on the food here is going towards these causes, which is truly, truly remarkable and really, really nice. I enjoy most of what's going on right now when you see all these kids having fun, you know, tossing meatballs, you know, slopping the spaghetti in and things like that. I enjoy that a lot. The meatball! Oh, I'm seeing some meatball debris. It's going to take a lot to get it down there. I mean, you're really going to have to toss it. Y'all ready? Toss your meatball! Sports, so I don't even know how this is happening. I'm meatballs. All right, all right, guys, time to flip the crowd. We got no. Ah. Oh, we going, we going, we going. I think she's buying. Oh, 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 my, oh. I see this kid right here. He's won like several times. He's actually not doing bad. He's going in the carb overload. Here we go. All right, guys, one more time. Big round of applause. We were dancing to promote square dancing and let people know that this is a, a folk dance that is still widely done and appreciated. And uh, as my friend Hoppy said, uh, Ronald Reagan made it the official folk dance of America. And we just love to dance. I was born and raised in Palermo, Sicily. I came over here in 1977, and I've been living in New Orleans since then. I work uh, for an Italian company, Ready Mix Country Company. And a couple of years ago, I found out about this occurrence right, in, in independence. And since then, you know, I, I've been coming over here, you know, to experience, you know, if talk, meet a lot of families from Sicilian heritage, even if most of them don't speak the language like I do, but 
you know, I really like, you know, to mangle and, and, uh, and be around them, you know. You know. Do you feel like you're at home when you're here? Yes, ma'am, I do. It's a, it's a real, a, a lot of people. I, I knew some of it even before the festival, like Tyler, my, my good friend, his grandpa, we worked together. And, uh, and when I'm here, I feel like I'm in small town Sicily. Yeah. What about the food? I'm smelling these wonderful tomato sauces. Is it very yes. similar? Yes, yes ma'am. It's very similar. Uh, the Italian sausage, stuff of bell peppers, stuff out of chokes, pizzas, you know, everything you eat over here, it's got a footprint of like, like it would have been in Sicily. This is our third time doing the festival, and we always have a good time, good turnout, and, you know, we, we our heritage is Sicilian heritage. My grandfather is from us. Uh, uh, Sheffalo, Sicily, so we like to support the heritage. Well, tell us about the pizza. We uh, import our flour from Italy and our tomatoes from Italy. We hand make our own dough, our own sauce, and then we use a lot of natural, uh, organic ingredients on our pizzas. And we, we also combine that with kind of our Cajun heritage and do stuff like the crawfish etouffee pizza. We do a Creole red bean and andouille sausage pizza. So we kind of mix the two. We do a New Orleans muffalata pizza. We try to cook as many of our ingredients as we possibly can that's pre-cooked beforehand in the wood-fired oven because it preserves the flavor of the food. It cooks it so fast, but it just makes it convenient. Um, I love cooking in a cast iron skillet, and what better way than to do it in the wood-fired oven? I just love what we're doing. Um, you know, this is part of our heritage, and this, is one of these, this festival here is one of our favorites um, because it's who we are, and we just want to share that with the community. We came from Houston all the way here for this big party here, and I'm very happy. And God bless us because there's no rain. You know, they told us that there should be a rain and stuff, but we're very, very happy to be here. Thank you so much. Every year we come from Houston and enjoy very much of this place. What's nice is most of these organizations are local uh, organizations, so the money is staying here. Like TARC, they just had their radiothon and they're back out here today, back at work. So the money is staying here helping out individuals in this community. So you actually see the money where it's being spent, which is you know, not, not every nonprofit can say that in a, in a community. And with everything going on in today's world, it seems like every time you turn on the news, you look on social media, there's nothing but division in this world. But when you come out here and you look at the different parish uh, queens that have come out, the different festival queens that have come out and supported this festival, supported Carly, our queen, and the community that comes together to support us, it's truly untouched here. It really, really is how the community is untouched when it comes to division. We all come together. As you know, last year we had a terrible, terrible flood. You know, Friday night we didn't even open the festival. We didn't, weren't sure if we were going to be able to have a festival this, this year based on what we lost last year. But this board is full of phenomenal individuals. They're tough. They're resilient. We weren't going to let it go without having another festival. Is this the first time you've come to the Sicilian Festival? It's the first time. and It's great. Tell us how you it's it's, it's, it's a little sad, the weather is not too good, but oh, I see the people enjoying, uh, the food is great, music, I hope we have better weather later for everybody enjoy. I just like to thank everybody for showing up and it means so much to the festival to see all these clubs and stuff make money rather than have the rain that usually uh, you know, causes damage and stuff to us. Please come out and support us. Again, we appreciate anything that can be done. Support these nonprofits. These people work so hard year in and year out. You see them working their tails off, and it stays here. It's, it's for your community at the end of the day, and we certainly need more of that. I just want everyone to come out, rain and shine, have a great time, and it's going on until Sunday at 6, so I hope to see everybody there.